What's up, everyone? Netherboid back with more before we leave episode 6. Uh, I was checking out my notes today. Really don't have anything really, really need to do here on this planet anymore. We're going to do repair the spaceship today, I think. Got the glassworks up. We probably need to check to make sure the, the clothing shop is set up. All the routes are set up for clothes, so we're really done with that as well. I was kind of just checking out the fountain to make sure it actually works and how it works. Um, so if you click it, you can see the radius, and I really wanted to put it in the center of town. Everybody walks through here. There's really no way to, well, I mean, you, even over when you work the fields, you got to walk to home, right? So you have to walk through these two pathways. And when I was doing is checking out this guy right here, which you got to pause it because they move so fast, you're not going to be able to click them. And I was looking at what he's done lately, and I don't see a fountain hit, right? You can see he's got zeroed out right there because slight pollution and gloom. So he's zero. Vegetable and wilderness. Okay, that's cool. But if you click this lady who has just left the fountain radius so i think it happens when they leave the radius she's going to put some veggies in i don't know if it's oh she's going to go get some i think and move it to the other warehouse so if you click her you can see she does have the fountain bonus it's three pluses so it's pretty big slight pollution and there's one other thing and i, I can't so she's got a lot a lot of happiness that's good and i think once you get fountain set up you can start increasing your huts to homes i think that's the way to do it so we're gonna have to do that to, to launch the spaceship because i do believe you need 50 people on the island on that island to launch the spaceship and i think that's island three i also believe we need steel for that so let me write that down reset up steel probably gonna need oil let me write that down uh let's see set up oil i believe we need oil for the ship as well and then i also wanted to go over comments i haven't done that in a while so let's do that real quick um i want to say thanks also for whoever's watching the series it doesn't seem to be as popular as before we leave so i mean um dyson sphere program hopefully people are staying on my channel for my content not necessarily the game they came for i got really stuck in that when I was playing World of Tanks a long, long time ago. It became really hard to play other games, and, and that made it hard for me to conti continue doing YouTube. So I really hope you guys stick around. And if you are here from the Dyson Sphere Program f series especially, I'll say thanks. I know I have a lot of older subscribers that have been here for a long, long time, and I appreciate you guys too. But I also appreciate the new subscribers who are watching my channel for it, the content in its entirety. That's pretty cool. Um, that helps probably the most. So I see that Ethereal Phoenix is saying when you click on the island button and you get the menu with the stats, you can edit the island and change the planet name by clicking the pencil. So let's do that really quickly. Uh, by clicking the pencil. Okay, that was my problem. So this is island one. We're going to call this Ethereal Phoenix. Since you gave me that tip, man. Thanks. Uh, Ethereal Phoenix, another named thing in another series. Very cool. But I'm going to call this Nether, right? This is the Nether system, just like it was in in, uh, in Dyson Sphere program. Our home system is the Nether system. Uh, that's cool. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. So now I can start naming other islands and stuff based on who is commenting. And you can also see, okay, available food, allocated food, total food. That's interesting. That's total food, though. Okay, we got potatoes, carrots, or vegetables. Vegetables. Supply and demand. I don't really need to look at that yet. I'm sure we'll get into this later when I have a, a need. I have 30 clothing. So we have started. Oh, that's fabric. We don't want fabric. How do you get rid of that? I have to ship it away, I think. I've got to ship fabric back to, to number two. And then I'm going to have to turn off fabric in one of the warehouses so they'll actually pick it up out of the warehouse. I can just destroy it. That's another way. You can destroy the warehouse or just destroy the items. I wish you could destroy the items in the warehouse. I bet you can. I'm going to have to go check. Our science is getting slim. Let's say it that way. I think you get enough to research everything in that area. Ah, uh, supply is four coming in from island three still. Um, okay, good. We've got enough, plenty of wood, plenty of tools, I believe. The demand is eight coming from island three, it looks like. Okay, wood demand. Okay, this is interesting. This is good data. Oh, you can ship power around? I don't think you can. I don't think you can ship power. Raw materials, iron and iron bars, that's good. This is the pretty much the only planet that's going to be doing that for now. 
Um, another thing to know about when we go to a new planet is you got to set up your tools immediately because tools are going to be a problem. You can't really ship them right away, so you're going to have to create them on that planet. You kind of have to set up another island one. Whoa, what's this? Someone who's really upset. Pollution and gloom. Where is this person? She's idle. Probably because you're not... What is this? Imogen wearing rags. Okay, because you didn't have clothes. That's fine. Where is this person? That's the only person that's not happy. Well, I'm not going to worry about it. It's one person. Just not caring. It's totally fine. Um, cool. Buildings. This is neat. This is good info. Again, I just don't really... You know, need it yet. I'm sure in the future I will need it, but this is a good way to look at kind of who's doing what. 20 water. The well doesn't seem to be worked by people. That's kind of neat. It, doesn't, it just runs on its own. Woodcutter. I still have a woodcutter. Interesting. A quarry and an iron mine. Probably should kill off the woodcutter. If, if I ever have not enough people to fill what I need, I will cut the woodcutter off because it's really being... Wood's imported, so not a big problem. Now, I have a lot of people working warehouses. That's normal at this point, I think. Just because we have so much coming in and out of the ports. Very normal, I think, for us. Okay, cool. Cool. So, transmogrifier. We need to get rid of that. No one should be working that. Let me turn that off. Can Is that even a thing? Empty peep slot. Let's lock these people out. We don't want anybody working that. Which, no one's working it right now anyway. I just don't know if they will. And so, I don't want anybody in there doing anything. Okay, this looks good. Too bad I couldn't put a path over that. I could probably use... I probably could. If I path to here, put a bridge to here, I could actually use one more square, I think. No, I can't, because it would be in one direction. It wouldn't be these other tiles. Yeah, that won't work. So... The cleaner is cleaning. That's good. I don't know if we need another cleaner. Like, maybe we don't have an, enough a, enough cleaners. But it, this looks good. Covers everything. I just don't know. We might need two of those. Let's look at our research, too. We might... Uh, I don't want to know if... Let's get it moving, I guess, at one by. We've got research all set up. I think this is everything we can do until we have to leave. So... That'll be good. I bet you we need fuel for the rocket as well to get off planet. The sound, the music sounds really loud, so hopefully it's not really loud in the game. Okay, it's turned up a little bit on my end. What's this? Oh, screenshot captured when I hit. Oh, so so they're cleaning. That's good. What happens when they clean this? Slightly polluted now. So we might need another cleaner. We could probably put it right there and just turn this this library or whatever, and then put another cleaner right there, because we really don't need this tie this this right here, thoroughfare. They can go around. It's not that big a deal. In fact, well, I'm not going to do it yet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to consider that. I'm going to consider that. So let's look at these guys over here. What do we, where are, is the fabric? I don't see any fabric. It must be in here. We have 30 fabric just hanging. Why don't we build a warehouse, dump the fabric in it, and then just kill the warehouse? We're going to do that. Because I want to get it out of there. They can, that port can only hold so many items. So, if you have it all locked up like that, it just kind of clogs the port. I mean, I don't know what the actual effect of the port is, except I think... What are you doing? Just click this. Except it, it can only hold... Yeah, see? It has a, so much space, and that's it. All right, so let's put it here. Okay, uh, cooking research complete. That's good. We can start setting up cooking, which will increase happiness as well. I don't know if we need to necessarily do that here on Ethereal Phoenix or any other places, really, because we have a, a, quite a bit of happiness going on, I think, with the fountain. Placing that fountain in a really great spot is kind of essential, I, th I found, I think. Let's move everything there, and then we'll destroy that. Let's go to Island 2. Yes, okay. Velvet Sugar Rush says, and Ethereal Phoenix says, New Series Hype! Yeah, man. Ethereal Phoenix, really appreciate the support. Always super supportive. Velvet Sugar Rush says, new trend in building games make it a sphere like Dyson's, like a planet surface. Oh, man. So there's also Planet Annihilation, which did that as well. The little tiny islands. Very interesting. Uh, it's just, it's just kind of interesting how that's going. Uh, those are really the only comments we've got so far. So we're going to make this. 
this is going to be Velvet Sugar Rush Island. Velvet Sugar Rush Island on the Nether Planet. If you want an island named after you, please comment. So here's another really, I mean, this is a f perfect spot for the fountain as well. Let's pause and look at, uh, can I see someone? Okay, we're going to track this guy. He's going up this direction. So when he leaves, uh, that, when he goes over to the bridge, we can look to see if he's got the bonus. He's moving cotton, which is perfect. It's coming in from, uh coming in from the other island. Yep, got the fountain bonus. He's got a plus four. He's really happy. So that's perfect. Very, very cool. Uh, I don't think we really need to do anything more on this island. I think we're good. How's wood? How are we doing with wood? Oh, and he's moving the cotton out of there. Cool. We've got plenty of wood to distribute. Is that our only wood storage, though? Because that's really kind of a problem because then we're using it for our own supplies well. I think 60 is good, though. I, I think that's completely cool. Oh, cool! We've got the sweatshop up and running. A tailor. <laughs> oh, can I name this? Can I name this thing the sweatshop? Can I do that? I don't know. Uh, upgrade? No, I don't think so. Options? Delivery when full. Contains... Okay. Oh, I didn't even know you could do that. That's kind of neat. Tile. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't really care too much about that. Uh, power, not doing the greatest, but it's fine. Upgrade, nope, can't do it. I can't change this thing's name. At least I don't see a pencil. Focus on me, next building, demolish, pause. No. Leave a comment, Ethereal Phoenix, if you figure that out. What did I, what just happened? Nope. Nope. What just happened? Fuel research complete. Why don't we go look at fuel research? Uh, T? Does T get his technology? No, we gotta go back. Let's go back to Ethereal Phoenix, and let's change this, the name. We don't need an underscore in this. Well, he's got an underscore in his name, so I guess we can leave it. Let's look to see what that does, because we might need to start building something. Allows construction of oil wells and fuel refineries, which refuel. Okay, oil wells and fuel refineries spread pollution to surrounding tiles, which gives peeps that walk on it. Okay, that's fine. Now, so, do I want to do all my fuel refining on Island 3? We're already doing sand and glass production there. Yeah, I think I should, because we're already doing wood cutting on Island 2. So let's... Actually, here's a good thing, way to look at it. Let's look at our shipping. That tells us a lot. That tells us, I mean, a, a ton of things, okay? Uh, no, I want to... Let's look at the shipping. So you can see, Island 3 to port, port 2 should be sending glass. That's interesting. Uh, let's add glass to this. Glass. Why is it not sending it? 30 and 60. Oh, glass is the only thing it's sending. Port 2 is creating wood and luxury items, and really it needs to send clothing as well, so let's sit, do the clothing thing. We want to reserve 30 and send up to 60. Especially for Island 3, they need the clothing. So... Velvet Sugar Rush, you're busy, bro. You got three things you're producing. It's just like Island 1. It's all taken. So, oh, that's not clothing. That's fabric. Please stop. Yes, remove it. God, why does it do that? Clothing. <sighs> okay, I'm just having an issue here with um, why are we doing that? Now I mean, might need to do that again. Hopefully it didn't take any with it. Yeah, it wasn't back in time. Okay, so clothing... Luxury items, wood, we're good there. Good, good, and wood goes to port one from Ethereal Phoenix. Why is there no wood here? Because it should be doing wood. So let's go wood, let's say 30 and 60, just like we usually do, and there's plenty, so it's not going to do anything, it's totally fine. Velvet Sugar Rush port one to Ethereal Phoenix port one. So port two goes to island three, port one, this is wrong. This should be port 2, because port 1 is supposed to go back and forth to island 1. We don't have anything set up for that. We have something not set up. We have glass, which should, this, is, this should be port 2. So port 1, let's pause the game. Our shipping lanes are messed up. Let's, let's fix this. Port 1, let's rename this. F... Faux, right? 
Island 3. Can we do this? There we go. Okay, maybe more like this. Island 3. So this is Ethphoto Island 3. Actually, we'll do it like this. Island 3, because that's the home, right, to Ethpho. It's really port 1. Island 3, port 1, to Ethpho, port 2. Oh, that's too big. Okay, that's a... Sh just leave it. Uh, I'm, uh, maybe I'll take this out. I3 to P1, right? And then say to Ethpho P2, port 2. I like that. Okay, cool. There we go. Now let's rename this guy. This is going to be Island 3, Island 3, port 2, to Velvet Sugar Rush, port 2. Okay, so that's what we should be doing here. Manage shipping. Ethereal Phoenix port 2 to Island 3 port 1 Ethfo port 2. So this is correct. This is a proper setup. This hold on a second. This is not right because port 1 is for Ethfo. That's this. This should not be happening. I would hate to have to kill this. Can we just change can we just change what... Oh, we can't. We can't just change the port it's going to. We're going to have to kill it. That's okay. We know what it's doing. So let's kill the, that lane. Is this one correct? Port 1 to port 1. If FO port 1 to Velvet Sugar Rush port 1. That's correct. And everything here is set up correctly. Except we don't need to... Sh yeah, we're shipping wood. These are the, the items that FO makes. These are the items that Sugar Rush makes. Velvet Sugar Rush. So that's perfect. That's what we're trading back and forth. We have two ships because it's a lot of stuff. We really need two ships here too. We're going to need to create a couple more trade ships. They probably can't trade fast enough. So let's add a lane. Now this one, actually let's set up the rest of the port names and stuff. Let's go to Island or Ethfo. We're going to set up your port, port names here. So this is port one. So this is Ethfo P1 to Velvet Sugar Velvet Sugar Rush Port 1. And this guy over here is Ethfo Oops Port 2 to I3 Port 1. Okay. Now we're going to go to Island 2, Rebel Sugar Rush, set up your ports. I believe this is port 1, yes. So this is Velvet Sugar Rush port 1 that goes to F Fo port 1. And this is another port, that's correct. Might be having some allergy issues here. And we want it to be Velvet Sugar Rush port 2 to I3. Oops, I keep hit hitting that button. Port 2. Okay, now we can manage shipping lanes very easily. We, can't, we need to add two lanes, actually. And I don't think we have enough ships for this. Wait, one. Yeah. One, two. Everybody should be shipping to two different places, so maybe a lot more. Man, these are really screwed up. Okay, we're going to add a lane. Is FO good? FO is good. FO 1 and 2 are set up. Right? The problem is... Wow, this is not super legible any longer. Might have to shorten the island names. Because there's actually two different things right here. Okay, the next thing we need to set up is Velvet Sugar Rush. You know what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to do... We're going to have to set the islands up with different... You're going to have to have shortened names. These islands aren't going to work. So let's let's shorten the name here. Ethfo. Because the longer names just make it atrociously difficult. Uh, 
And then this is going to be Velvet Sugar Rush. There we go. That'll make it easier. Okay, let's go back to shipping lanes like this. Manage shipping. We're going to add a new shipping lane. We want, and that makes it a little bit easier to see. They're still not super easy. We're going to do, we need to do FO2 to Island 3. Let's set that up because that's, FO is our main island. So we're going to set up all those lanes first. Now we're going to do Island 3 to FO. Right? That's, that's correct. That's just backward. To FO2. FO2 to Island 3 Port 1. So that's perfect. I'm not sure. Oh, because that's already set up. Duh. we got to set up Island 2 to Island 3. So we got to set up this. Velvet Sugar Rush P2 to Island 3 P2. So Island 3 P2. Okay, so that's actually it. We only have to have three shipping lanes. That's that's not right. Actually, no, that is right. Everybody should be shipping to everybody now. Yep, because this is... Uh, that's Island 3, and this is Island 3 again. Okay, cool. Let's create that lane. Let's add a ship. Challenger. Man, I I gotta get an allergy pill. I'm gonna crap in the back of my throat. That sucks. Um. So we're gonna ship. This is wait. This is from Velvet Sugar Rush. Velvet Sugar Rush exports wood. I wish we had a common setup so we could just set that up instead of doing this every time. It ex he exports. Sorry, I'm having an issue here. He exports luxury items. Good. He also exports clothing. Not fabric. It's getting bad, bro. Clothing is actually starting to be produced. That's good. Man, I can't even talk. These allergy things just come up on you like fast. There's come out, there's a tree around here in where I live that I'm highly allergic to, and every once in a while I get a little bit of it, and it's just my, my allergies go nuts. What's this guy shipping? Two glass. Okay, yeah. Island three exports glass. Right. Uh, we don't need a lot of glass. Just it's really for buildings. Exports. Just glass right now. Fuel is what I'm thinking it should export. Red science, but it doesn't need to go to here. So that's, that's it. Let's add fuel because, and I only think actually the fuel doesn't need to go everywhere. We don't need to know where the fuel needs to go yet. So let's turn everything on. I believe that's all set up now. Let's get a screenshot of this because I do like to see... This is going to be a good screenshot for what we're trying to do. Uh, let's do... Oh, man, I can't do this. Allergy attack. I'm dying. I'm dying, guys. Woo! I'm dying. Good content right here. <laughs> Okay, you for UI, alt print screen. This is good stuff. I don't know why I didn't take the whole UI off, but it didn't. Anyway, great. Very cool. How do you get out of this? Manage shipping. I don't want to manage shipping. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, anyway, let's just do this. Let's look at what we're going to do with power. But first we need to start mining the, or, you know, getting the oil. We're going to be exporting it from here. So it might be a good idea. You know, with the amount that we seem to be moving, do we have, oh, we good, we good, we do. Let's put oil here. That's fuel. This is oil, correct? Okay. These are raw materials. We're going to put oil there. Then we're going to mine, well not mine, but we're going to we're going to get this oil. So we're going to have to do it. We're going to have to start making a road. So let's make our road through here. That way we don't have to we can 
remove as little trees as possible. And then we're going to have to kill that, because that's probably where I'm going to put the oil derrick, which I don't know if it's what it's called in, in this game, but that's what I'm doing. Then they can move it right to this warehouse. It'll be really simple. So let's start setting that up. Is that this guy? No, that's fuel refinery. We don't need that yet. We need this. Oil well. That's going to make some pollution. Should we move it over to here? That way the pollution will be as little as possible, at least. The road is going that way for this guy. In fact, it'll go like that, and we might as well put another... What's this? What do we have? Oh, houses? Yeah, we're not doing houses yet. Let's put an oil well right here. I don't know why it says... Oh, we need... We need iron for that? That's strange. Okay, I mean, I can do that. Just weird. It's a lot of pollution. If I moved it... Oh, I can't move it back to there. If I moved it to there, it'd still be on the road. So we're going to have to have a cleaner over here. Because I don't want these... Well, not that many people were walking on that road. So we might not necessarily need a cleaner. Actually, I could probably put the cleaner right there. And then let's do a lift. Actually, that won't work. Because really, there's no... We should move this. That way we can have a thoroughfare right there. And another lift. So the cleaner can go up and down and clean right here. Because if I move that, the cleaner can also clean stuff over here. That's what we're going to do. Let's kill this. Let's move the quarry because it's not in a great place. Let's also get rid of this. Right here. That The trees do also remove pollution. But I also let's also get set up that we're importing um, iron now. Let's go to manage shipping. We're going to have to import our iron. So we're going to do it from Ethel 1 to VSRP1. We're going to say ship over some iron bars. We're going to want, we want to keep 30, and we're going to say, I want you to send over, I don't know why it does that, 30 and 30, maintain 30, I guess. So we added that, so let's go back to the warehouse and see if we can, oil, 60 oil, probably don't need 60 necessarily, do we need this much of that stuff? Maybe. We definitely need more tools, we're getting short on tools. Where can we actually drop? What can we drop? We don't need as much glass and probably not as much vegetables. So let's add iron bars here. That goes to 40. That's good. That works for me. And this guy's got oil, so he's fine. And then we're going to put a lift right here. What's this? Stepped warehouse. Actually, there you go. But, but he can't... Okay, then I can't... Nah, that doesn't really work with how I want... Well, I could put it there. That would actually be better. So let's move this guy. Because I'm going to put the stepped warehouse right there. That Instead of just a lift, I also get... Actually, we don't need that row now. But, kill this. Why are you not killing it? Let's get rid of it. And then I'm going to put a road there. And let's put the quarry back in because we do need stone here. Let's put it there. That's going to help a lot. And then I'm going to put a cleaner right there. Actually, I'll put a cleaner up here. Well, we need to make a spot for this electronics eventually. So that's probably going to be there. So we could probably put a cleaner. Honestly, we could put one there. But it wouldn't get all the way over here. Huh. I think maybe just a... Hmm. Nah, let's do a stepped warehouse. That's not it. Stepped warehouse and put it right there. That'll be like a lift. We can't really do that over here. Actually, we could do it right there, too. But it doesn't connect to all this. Oil power research complete. You can't... Oh my god, here we go again. You can burn your oil for power. We'll maybe end up doing that. We do have a lot of... Um, so, we have a lot right now of wood, so I'm not super concerned. Let's put a cleaner right... Well, we can't. We have too many roads right here. 
I don't really feel like we have a choice, but it is what it is. And again, we have a lot of roads right here, but again, we don't have a choice there either. This is a forest. We're, we need a cleaner around here. This is going to get dirty fast. Really wanted to put one right there. I could have put a cleaner there if I didn't have this warehouse, right? So if I did a lift there, no, this doesn't do anything. There's already a warehouse here, so that's taken. We could put a cleaner right there. This woodcutter needs to move. Let's move this woodcutter now, because he's not close enough to trees. Let's do that. Well, he's got a few trees around here, but we can put a cleaner right here, actually. Let's demolish this. Put a cleaner right here. Actually, I'm going to put the cleaner right there. But this this needs to be used for something else. That, that woodcutter is not... Well, I don't know. Let's put it back. I, I changed my mind. Okay, so we're going to put a cleaner here. We might need more peeps here. Yeah, we, we need more peeps. So let's start upgrading to houses. Let's upgrade this guy to a house. We need... Oh, we got we got tools and stuff. Okay, you started your first house upgrade. Notice that when a building is being converted. Oh, yeah. So when you upgrade your hut, no one can live there. So it needs to be fast. <laughs> you need to have everything ready. Because they, they don't live in the house while it's being upgraded. So this should upgrade it. Now I can have six peeps. Cool. Let's upgrade this one as well. This is going to maybe make six as maybe more. It should be more than six because it's actually connected to more houses or huts. Oh, we should have done this one. Let's upgrade a few of these. Well, maybe not yet. So, we need tools, and we're out of tools? Mm, kind of. We need to make more tools on Island 1. We're re really having a problem here, so let's get back to finishing this. Because we need to... What is, what's wrong with this? No steel available. Well, let's cut that. We're not going to have steel for a while. Let's just demolish this and put a lift here instead for now. Let's do a lift. Nope, that's wrong. A lift right here. And then a road, I guess. Then we're going to make a cleaner, which is probably... I don't remember which one of these it is. Cool, we can make a steel smelter. We're going to do that on island one, because that's where we already have the iron bars. I bet you need iron bars for that. Yeah, you need iron bars. So we're going to do that on FFO. The cleaner. Here's a cleaner. Let's put it here. He's going to clean a pretty large area for us. That's good. And it spreads all the way up into this area. Now we only need like one more over here, and we're covered. So that'll be good. That's really good. Not enough workers. Well, that's because we need more people. So it's totally cool. I just upgraded everybody. Well, a, a few houses anyway. Six, six looks like the max. Let's upgrade a couple more houses because it looks like we're going to need them. Let's upgrade these houses as well. Let's go back to Ethereal Phoenix. Now we have a lot of stuff to do. And we're over the time. So we're going to have to fix if Ethfo when we come back. We have some issues. So anyway, thanks for watching episode six. Tell me what you think about the series. It's getting a little more complicated. I'm really enjoying it. We have two things to, uh, to do now. We have, we have to set up oil production. A refinery, fuel, and we need to set up steel, and we need we have a lot of stuff to do. We need to set up more tools. It's another thing we're having an issue with. So we're gonna be doing that when we come back. I hope to see you on the next one. Stay frosty.